fair enough. See the couple of weeks. See a couple of weeks. I've asked, I've asked, I've asked this point, but just couldn't be resolved. Mr. Bockington, you've been served. Paul Cohen. I am a private investigator. I've been hired by David Casterman, who is a special counsel to the U.S. trustee in bankruptcy. The deposition subpoena for his deposition and the production of, of records. The date is on the date of the subpoena. It's on behalf of the creditors in the bankruptcy case, the underlying bankruptcy case. No, I touched him, I gave it to him and put it in a car and he threw it out of the car and then I did a secondary as a courtesy and put it on his windshield and he drove off. Drove off. I'm Brent, B-R-E-N-T, Romney, R-O-M-N-E-Y. And I'm, uh, I'm uh, defense counsel with Blumenthal Law Offices. Do you support the, um, the the plea agreement, or sorry, the um, probation recommendation as written? Uh, two two years probation, hundred uh, was it hundred hours of community service? Hundred hours of community service, six months uh, home confinement. That's the recommendation, and we think that's a very fair. Uh, Mr. Hawkinson and I both feel that's a very fair resolution to, uh, to the, the gravity of this particular case. And because once the sentencing is over, then then we'll have I'm sorry, then we'll have more to say. But um, we think it's a very fair resolution. In the document that you filed the other day, you asked for the credit, which you alluded right. to, and uh, more time for community service instead right. of close custody. Now, that, 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 if you're if you're serving home confinement, you're basically sitting in your home, watching television or doing, you know, and and. Mr. Poppleton is anxious to try and turn something negative into a positive, and so he asked that uh, if the court would be willing to consider it, uh, we take we we, had, we add additional community service hours um, in lieu of home confinement, and let him get out into the community under the direction of his supervising probation officer, and try and um, make a difference for uh, for uh, especially uh, underprivileged youth. Um, he also is willing to to uh, uh, work with charitable organizations and show them, uh, give them ideas and suggestions as to how to raise funds for purposes of their organization. Um, that's a major thing he he had done in Canada uh, and had raised several million dollars for various charitable organizations. Um, and um, he's willing to try and do that here rather than just simply sit in the, sit in the, in his home. It's working with underprivileged. Children, uh, what do you see that involving? Um, uh, showing, 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 giving them hope and showing them how to get out of uh, difficult economic circumstances, um, raising, helping them raise funds so that they have programs that will assist them. Uh, one of the programs he was very involved with in Canada and raised several millions of dollars over the years was uh, Junior Achievement. Junior Achievement is where young people participate in a program that involves the free market and how to how to uh, how to uh, uh, become involved in the free market uh, of economics and by doing that they hopefully can raise themselves out of the difficult circumstances they're in uh, as far as uh, ec economics with a family that may be a single parent family something like that and uh, give them a chance to try and make a life for themselves.